I do often talk to people who want to get into this, who, who see this world of climbing from afar, read the books, see the magazines, uh, say, hey, how do I get there? How do I get to these places? What do I have to do? And I guess the first thing is you got to jump in with both feet. You'll, you'll never be able to do it just, uh, just chewing a little bit at it. You'll have to jump into it the way I did. I made a completely different set of priorities in life and I stuck to them of, uh, of trying to learn this world, trying to learn this environment. Some of the more concrete things that somebody can do to get into this world of climbing. They gotta find some people that they trust to learn from and I had it so good that way. I was very fortunate that the people that I learned from were in it for the long term. They weren't in it for making headlines next week with some death-defying stunt. They were people who were interested in being safe I think they were properly afraid of the mountains and they passed that on to me. So that would be a, a third thing that I would say is have that proper fear of the mountains. After a quarter century in these big mountains, yes, I've had a bunch of close calls, but it's caused me to keep all the ingredients necessary um, for being in this world. To keep my rescue skills sharp, to keep my first aid skills sharp, it's pushed me to, to stay strong physically. You, you have to be strong. You have to be in shape. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. And as I say, that's, that doesn't give you extra credit in this world. That is just the entry fee. For a fifth thing, important to me, don't get carried away with yourself. There are some people who actually get to be better people doing this kind of climbing and living in this kind of world, having these kind of challenges. And when you meet those people, they leave a pretty lasting impression on you. And so once you have been in this world for a while and you figure out your place in it, it's easy to be humble in it when you've met some of the, the not, not just great climbers, but people that were good at the whole thing, good people, then it's easy to, to keep your own accomplishments in place and, uh, and know where they fit in and not get too carried away with it.